Hello and welcome to a CFMEU News Update. I'm Emily Barker. The CFMEU is calling for a Senate inquiry into what big mining takes out of Australia and what it actually gives back. The call follows a rise in unemployment figures, industry objecting to reveal local content levels in mine and construction projects and more temporary overseas labour calls. CFMEU National Secretary Michael O'Connor said mining companies must reveal how much Australian made product they're using in their operations. Mr O'Connor said Australians deserve to know what they're getting out of the boom given industry opposition to royalty and tax increases and calls for more temporary overseas workers. The CFMEU has slammed mining giant Anglo-American for ignoring the housing needs of its workers in Middlemount in central Queensland. Many Anglo mine workers have been left wanting for appropriate housing in Middlemount, while company-owned houses sit vacant. The union understands the company has refused family housing to workers with partners, instead putting couples up in single-person's accommodation. The CFMEU has concerns Anglo is ignoring housing concerns of permanent workers with families, as it prefers to promote the use of FIFO labour instead. Hundreds of Queensland Mining and Energy Division members have rallied in Gladstone to demand a better spread of the mining boom. CFMEU members were joined by hundreds of other unionists coming together under the Let's Spread It Around campaign to highlight how Queensland workers and communities were missing out. Specifically, the members called for more investment in mining communities, more training for local workers, better support for Australian manufacturers and ending the growing dependence on exploitable overseas workers. District President Stephen Smythe said Queensland mining communities needed more investment in skills so local workers and their children could benefit from job opportunities during the boom. And finally, members in central Queensland have raised almost $4,000 for disability and support services for the community, joining a charity poker run. Members from the Grass Tree, Oakey North and Oakey Creek No. 1 mine lodges in central Queensland threw their weight behind the Emerald Car Club Charity Drive, featuring cars, trucks and bikes. District Vice President Chris Brodsky said he was proud that the three lodges took part, dressing in their best grandpa clothes sourced from op shops. All proceeds and donations went to the Yumba Bimbi Respite Service in Emerald. For more information on these stories, plus the latest on the Let's Spread It Around campaign, please go to the CFMEU website.